Okay, in today's video, we're going to look at converting between degree measurements and radian measurements. We talked in class about what a radian is and that we're going to use both radians and degrees in this class, but you need to be able to convert between the two. So let's look at the conversion factors here. To go from degrees to radians, we're going to multiply by pi over 180, just like it looks. To convert the opposite way from radians to degrees, Look, we just reversed the fraction. It's 180 over pi. So those are our, our standard conversion factors we're going to use. So let's just jump into this and try this out. Now, I know the directions say do not use a calculator, but you know some of these you're going to just want to, and that's fine. So let's look. Rewrite each angle and radian measure as a multiple of pi. OK? So, so if it's degrees, I'm going to multiply by pi over 180. Now. 315 over 180 pi is a gross fraction, right? We need to reduce that. So let's just use our calculator to reduce that fraction. Let me show you how. Okay, so when we put in our fraction, it's alpha y equals, right? And we would put in 315 over 180. If you hit enter, it's gonna put it in decimal form, but to make it a fraction, just hit math, enter, enter, and it will reduce that fraction for you. So just don't forget that your answer is going to have pi in it. So it would be 7 pi over 4. Okay, if we continue on with number 2, 120 times pi over 180. This one's definitely easier to reduce because both are divisible by 60, so that's a 3 and a 2, so it becomes up 2 pi over 3. So definitely I encourage you to reduce mentally if you can, but if it's just a wonky fraction like we did, just feel free to use your calculator. What about negative 330 times pi over 180? Okay, well we know we can, we can cancel the zeros, divide them both by 10, right? If we divide them both by 3, we'll have negative 11 over 6. And that doesn't reduce further, so it's just a negative 11 pi over 6. 144. All right. Uh, both of these are divisible by, uh, by 12, so it's 12 pi over 15. I can keep reducing by 3, which gives me 4 pi over 5. And there's my answer. Okay, I encourage you to try the next two on your own. Pause the video, try them on your own, and then um, come back and check your answers. So on number five, I got pi over four. And on number six, you should get negative pi over three. Okay, so like I said, I encourage you to do these on your own. And we'll revisit those in class if we need to. All right, moving on. Switching gears, we're taking our angles from radian mode to degree mode. Okay, so we're going radian to degree. And our conversion factor is just the reciprocal of what we did. So negative 15 pi over 6 times 180 over pi. Now, I always remember this because I need the pi's to cancel, right? So the, the pi has to be on the bottom. And then I know 6 goes into 180 30 times, right? And then it's just 30 times 15, which is negative 450. Now, don't forget the degree symbol. That's going to be really important, okay? If you don't put, put that on there, uh, it could be assumed it's a radian, so we don't want to do that. So 28 pi over 15 times 180 over pi. Well, those cancel. Oh, the pi's cancel, sorry. 15 does go into 180, what, 12 times? And let's see. 12 times 28, if I use my calculator, I get uh, 336 degrees. All right, four pi. Uh, try this one. Let's try this one on your own. See what you get. Pause the video and come back and check it. Now, before I check, show you what to do, I want you to visualize what's happening. If it's negative and it's 4 pi, remember my, my uh, initial side starts here. 
And if I go one, two, three, four pi, lands me right back here, doesn't it? So it's two revolutions, so it should make sense that it's negative 720 degrees. All right, let's keep going. Convert the angle measures from degrees to radian. Round your answer to three decimal places this time. All right, now these are decimals already, so we're gonna definitely want to use our calculator on these, and that's fine. Negative uh, 46.52 times pi over 180. You are gonna use your calculator to multiply by pi and get your answer. So let me demonstrate that on one of these. So to convert, I would do negative 46.52 times, and I put in my conversion factor. This is going from degrees to radians, so I'm gonna want pi, and use the pi symbol, which is right above the caret, over 180. And let it find our answer. So it's negative 0.812, because we're rounding to three decimals, and we'll need to make sure to put the word radian next to it. These are pretty straightforward, so I'm gonna ask you to try these on your own. Pause the video, try them on your own using the fraction feature on your calculator, and see what you get. So I'm gonna put my answers up, and if you have questions about that, we can try them together in class. Uh, number two comes to 6.894 radians, and number three comes to 1.461 radians. Hopefully you had no issues with that, but again, we'll address it in class if you did. Convert the angle measure from radians to degrees. So notice the direction we're going here. Radians to degrees, round to three decimal places. So five pi over 11, 180 over pi. I would just cancel out those. And then I would put in my calculator five times 180 divided by 11. You know how to use your calculators. So, so I get 81.818 degrees. Okay, again, you need your degree symbol. Don't forget to get degree symbol. Let's try the next one, but again, you can do this on your own. 6.5 pi times 180 over pi. The pi should cancel out, and I'm just going to use my calculator to multiply 6.5 times 180. When I do, I get 1170 degrees. Number three, try this one on your own. Pause the video, try it, and see if you get what I got. And what I got was negative 32.659 degrees. Okay, so on the back, we are revisiting what we talked about when we did two coterminal angles. This time we're just doing it in radian measure. So let, let me remind you, coterminals are angles that have the same initial and terminal end, but they may just have a different number of revolutions, like it may be here and it ends up here, but they're coterminal. And if you remember what we did in degrees, to get that um, the first coterminal, we took the theta they gave us and we added 360 to get a positive, and then to get a negative, we subtracted 360, right? If you remember that. Well, we're gonna do the same thing in terms of radians, except that remember, 360 degrees is the same as 2 pi. So that's the conversion factor we're going to use as we do coterminals. So we're going to be adding and subtracting 2 pi. Got to do a little fraction work on it, but it's not impossible. So let's look at this. So let's take, um, for theta 1, 7 pi over 6, we're going to add 2 pi, right? Well, we have to get a common denominator of 6. So that's going to be 7 pi over 6 plus 12 pi over 6 which will give me, what, 19 pi over six? So there's my positive coterminal. Now, I'm gonna use this conversion factor when I do my subtracting, because why not, right? Seven pi over six minus 12 pi over six gives me a negative coterminal of negative five pi over six. All right, let's look at number two. Five pi over four, so, First coterminal plus 2 pi. So a common denominator is going to have to be 4, so it's going to be 8 pi. And when we add those, we get 13 pi over 4. 
So the second coterminal, I'm going to do 5 pi over 4 minus, again, use that conversion you've already done, 8 pi over 4. It gives me negative 3 pi over 4. Okay, done a couple of these for you. I want you to try a couple on 3 and 4 before we move on. And so I'm going to put these on your own. And check your answers in a moment. So pause the video, try them on your own, and we'll see how you do. And number four, I got 25 pi over 12 and negative 23 pi over 12. All right, hopefully you're doing okay with that. Now down here, we are using the complement and supplement stuff we've done before. Remember, with, eight, with degrees, complement was 90, right? They add to 90, and supplement means they added up to 180. So we just convert that. What is, okay, so think about our thing. What is 90 degrees? Well, that's pi over 2, and the supplement, 180 degrees, is pi. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to subtract from either pi over 2. So in radians, the complement will be um, pi over 2 minus the given angle, and the supplement will be pi minus the given angle. All right? And again, your answers have to be positive. You cannot have a negative complement and you cannot have a negative supplement. So let's look at number one here. Okay, for complement, I'm going to have pi over 2 minus 3 pi over 4. Well, obviously, I need to get a common denominator, right? If I do that, I get 2 pi over 4 minus 3 pi over 4. That's going to be a negative answer. So that means there is no complement. doesn't exist. You can put like that... Uh, that or you can just write none totally fine for the supplement again you want to make sure you're showing me your work all right your work is really important um, don't depend on the calculator to show the work you got to show your work on your paper supplement pi over 1 minus 3 pi over 4 I know my common denominator is going to be a 4 so it's 4 over 4 subtract 3 over 4 it gives me a pi over 4 so it does have a supplement but not a complement let me try number two. And number two, the complement, pi over two minus 12 pi over five. So my common denominator is going to be a 10 on this. So it's going to be what, five pi over 10 minus 12 pi over 10. Uh oh, that's going to be negative. So this is going to be a none on the complement, right? So what about the supplement? Pi over one minus 12 pi over five. Well, that's not going to work either. 5 pi over 5, it's going to be a negative as well. So the supplement is a none. All right. And then lastly, I want you to try this one on your own. Pause the video, see how you do. If we need more help, we can talk about it in class tomorrow. All right. I'll, I'll pause for a second and then show you what my answer is. So the complement on this one comes out to... Uh, 2 pi over 6, which reduces to pi over 3. The supplement on this one is going to be a 5 pi over 6. All right, let me know what questions you have, and we'll see you in class.